Hello everyone, and welcome to The Long Dark and Dead World, episode 32. And by the looks of it, it's going to be electrifying. <laughs> or at least by Aurora standards, electrifying. Anyway, as you can see, we are here at the camp office. And... Are these cured guts? Nope, they're a fresh gut. Cured. They are cured, not fresh. How are we doing on all of our goodies here? Got a little bit of food, not a great amount of food. Doing okay on water. We've got a few teas. All right. We have supplies we need to get over here. And we don't need to be carrying stuff. Should have done this closer, but nevertheless. What else can we drop? Alright, we don't need to carry these. We don't need to carry this. Let's put those there. Come on, hammer. Ooh. All right. Well, we can drop that. We'll burn that up here. We'll get this finished. We got our lantern. Can we fill this thing up? Oh, it is pretty full already. Tell you what, let's let's utilize the, the storage here. What else are we carrying that we can get rid of? Like we're not carrying any excess clothing. We could put our antibiotics away, huh? I can't see the... Uh, should be right over here somewhere. It's not that this weighs that much, but... Every little bit counts. Probably don't even need this many bandages. Let's let's keep three, and we don't even need these. Decent on fire starting stuff. We could use some more sticks, obviously. And I think that's not bad because we are going to go back over to the dam and go gather up stuff. But we do have. Our beautiful sled. Oh, I thought it, I was like, oh, good lord, did it get dark? So how are we doing? We are getting tired. We need to get upstairs. Now that we've got all that sorted. It still kills me with the ding bedroll thing. So how are we on water? Okay, so we do have some flour up here, and there's oil downstairs. Okay. Yeah, we were making Bannock and stuff. Is this... Nope, I think that's empty. I think that's just the weight of the bag. Alright, so let's do this. Let's... Here. Do this a little easier. We'll use the Zach number, the the magic twelve. And we'll eat 
One of those. That should just get us through the night. We'll eat the rest of them in the morning. Alright, so let's get some sleep. And hope for decent weather tomorrow. And so, I think what my game plan is, is we've got to go back to the dam and go grab the rest of our stuff. We got the coat finished, which will give us a little more warmth. But we also built the sled, which will also help immensely. And that's getting stuff back. Um, we saw a few deer carcasses. We could um, maybe harvest some of those along the way or go back after them, whatever. But... I'm hoping there's one up in the cave just above us here at the uh, camp office. And I'm sure we'll find a couple more. Let's go four more. So my thought is, is that we go out onto the lake and we kind of maybe stay on the left side of it. And we'll harvest all the cattails we can find there. And work our way through that little inlet. So if you go on the lake, there's like a little inlet where the, the river from the dam comes from. And um, we'll essentially um, follow that inlet and we'll gather up all the supplies we can gather. That's what I was trying to, I'm trying to lighten the load. We're gonna use camp office as kind of a, um, a centralized headquarters. Um, and we're going to be able to do that for a little while because the way I'm going to be playing this is, is that at some point we're going to go from here to Ravine into Bleak. When we get done with all of that, we're going to leave Bleak through the Muskeg and then we're just going to kind of skirt that outer edge where the, uh, the radio tower is, come back into Mystery Lake. Um, we may have some stuff pre-set up at Trappers while we're doing our looting. Um, and then go from Trappers into uh, Mountain Town and into Hush River Valley. And then out through Lower Bleak or Lower, um, excuse me, uh, Lower Milton or Lower Mountain Town Basin. And then into the Muskeg again. And then if we need to, we can always come back here if we need something, which is nice. Um, it's not that far away. It won't be like what we just did. So I'm going to kind of establish this as a, uh, as a focal point for storing stuff. Here, let's just leave you over here. You are a future stick waiting to happen. All right. I think we've gotten everything in here. Let's go ahead and let's eat a couple of Bannock. I'll keep one in reserve. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's more psychological than anything. We've got potential wood in here. We do have the hammer and the hatchet. So is there anything else? You know what? These hooks. Got to take the pry bar with us because we didn't have that with us and we probably left some possible loot behind. Let's go check the weather. That may decide what we're doing next here. I kind of hear the wind blowing. Mm. Could be pre-blizzard. Ain't no sense in going out there when we've got other things we can work on. So, here's another can. So, let's do this. We do not need two cans. I'm trying to... Light and lean. I'm trying to go light and lean. So let's keep that. Let's go put these away. I'm going to keep the hatchet and the the saw because these two things work in conjunction with uh, harvesting the carcasses very quickly. Uh, that'll go away fairly soon. All right, so let's go put these hooks in here. That's the torch. And those are potential sewing kits if we so need them. What else? All right. I think that's good. I think we are as light and lean as we can get. 
combat pants, toque, aviator's cap. Now that was something of a question mark for me. Okay, that's 1.9. So they're both going to be 2, but is there a, a better... Okay, so the wind chill is better. So it might be worthwhile repairing this if we have the supplies to do so. That would because the windshield is an eff, is definitely a factor for us. So maybe we're doubling up on that would give us the ability to deal with the wind a little better. So I remember somebody was talking about that in another video. I don't remember who it was, and I apologize for not uh, remembering. But nevertheless. It's not like some great idea I had. I will give credit where credit's due. It was somebody else that mentioned it. And um, I just wish I remembered who. But um, yeah, that might be worth um, some time spent if we're looking to uh, kill some time here. But All right. Two liters of water. I'll tell you what. I'm going to take one of these with us. Let's go back outside and see how the weather looks. It sounds like the wind died down. You know what? Let's go. We can always make it to the trailers. We can always go into Alan's cave and build a fire. We'll just make sure we take some stuff with this. Now, I know there were some cattails to my right, and at some point you just got to draw a line in the sand and decide which is the side you're going to work and that was the first one and the rest will be the right side so we're going to work the left side oh it got colder really really you're going to do this to me okay tell you what We might need these. We got all excited that it was just kind of snowy and then we were going to be able to uh, do some walking, but nay, nay. All right, so, well, we could repair the hat, or we could go get the hammer and bust down a whole bunch of wood in here for making water later. I just hate to burn the calories. That's, I think, more than anything, it's the thing that drives me the most crazy. So let's do this here. Let's, let's get this sharpened. We will definitely do some water if this is a not going to be a quick storm. Just break it. There we go. There we go. It's up to 60%. Where's it at? One down. Two to go. Okay, so let's... 22 minutes. Let's give this a shot. There we go, 97. Actually, that did really well. I think that blends perfectly with the one we already have. So, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9. But the thing that's the big deal is this number here. It adds almost a full degree. Of wind chill, which that's a big thing for us. That's a huge impact on us. 
you know, it's kind of like with this. This gives us a much better wind chill, and so we really should have that on the outside. But I was worried about this getting beat up in the storms, but realistically, this should be... They should be wearing this this way. I'm going to be sad when these get worn out. I don't know that we're going to be able to repair them. Maybe we get lucky and we find a rabbit skin somewhere along the way. Beach combing and bleak is going to be our best bet. That will be our absolute best bet. Okay. Crampons. They only weigh half a kilo. I'm going to keep them for now. We've got deer skin to repair those. These are going to need to be touched up soon. Okay. Good enough for now. We're not going anywhere. I'm going to try to stay out of these storms. Save the clothing. Worst case scenario, we'll put on the ski jacket and ruin it. Save the, the wolf coat. So, let's do the next best thing here. Let's grab this hammer. I know this is not going to be a good use of calories. But everything takes calories and everything takes time. And I can't do one thing without the other. Let's take this upstairs. Another can. Plenty of cans. Alright. Let's go take all this wood upstairs. They will eat the bannock. An hour and a half. This chair is ridiculous. That chair over there was nothing. This must be one sturdy chair. I mean, that's 215. Six. Good lord. One killer chair. Alright. We still have our magic pies. We can eat those now. We don't actually need the... Uh, the magic pies as much as we did. You know what? Just let's do this. We'll take a couple of stabs at it. Yeah, we made those with the intent that we were going to need them to help carry more loads, but I didn't know that we were going to have the ability to build a sled so quickly. So, oh, yeah. That's good. so the sled is going to help us drag stuff back from the dam. Well, let's put this on for three. Water. Can we cook anything? Just coffee. Here, I'll tell you what. Grab this just in case. I don't think we have anything left in there. Okay, we don't. All right, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and make at least a coffee. And then drop that and drop this. And we'll just leave it. If we find another flower, we'll bring it up here and we'll cook. Wait. Just cancel you. Just put that hot pan on the floor. That's perfectly safe. Remember, children, don't try this at home. Is this a, like a rug? Yeah, okay. That's empty. Alright, so if we spent four hours, we could break up those two things and end up with more wood. That's good.
actually, you know what? Let's break that down. Alright. What can we repair? Oh, you say that, but... Some of the things I could find you would probably... Kind of disgust you. Okay, 54 minutes. Let's give this a shot. We should be good on food for a bit. It's already nighttime again. We've wasted a whole day. It's so frustrating. Alright. Let's finish this one up. And let's do two more liters of water. We cannot have enough water in this run because of the thirst meter being so flipping hard on us. All right, so we've got two hours. That should be just about right. How long did this take? Ugh. I don't know if we have the calories for that. All right, these are 406. Let's just eat a couple of these. Wasn't how I intended to spend those, but... Well, I guess the fire went out. I guess we're done. I knew it was going to be close. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> if I'd have had one more minute. Okay. So we're not like crazy tired. What else can we... Let's, I'll tell you what we can do. We can definitely sharpen this for a bit. All I wanted to do was go to the dam. I'm half tempted to go outside and go see what it's like. I mean, you know, sometimes I, I do, I will say this, I will forget that we can roam around at night without being uh, molested by wolves because there are no wolves to be molested by. So if we're not cold, it's pretty bright out here. The only, our, our biggest issue is being tired. We've got our bedroll with us. I say we try this again. We can't waste good weather. Now we may have to start another fire and warm up some teas or find some tea making material, but that's fine. But I love the fact that we're only two down, so. I thought I saw one over there. Carefully look. I see a couple here. Oh, yeah, colder. Yeah, Astrid, I see it. Let's see if we can get a little bit further. Teas would have helped. Let's see if we can find us a little cubby here. Make you fire. We gotta get it going here pretty quickly. Let's see if we can tuck one in here. This will give us some protections here I think we got some lamp oil let's just use it and I have nothing 
I have no coal. All right, so what we're going to have to do... Oh, no, 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 don't drink it. Warm it up. Now drink it. Alright, that will warm us up some. I did not realize that I did not have any more fire equipment. Alright, let's drink this one too. Torch. And torch. Let's get towards the hunter's blind. Tea should help stay warm for a bit. And we'll get over here and collect some sticks and stuff. And the southern access to the river. That's where we're at. It's not an inlet. It's the river access. Okay. We might be missing out on some cattails here, but right now... We need to build a fire again. Oh, look at you. So we got another deer over here. That's good to know. Oh, come on, wind. Give me a break here. Yep. You rotten. All right. All right, we need to hurry. We may have to boogie boogie to the uh, the trailers at this point because of my lack of having any coal. We're going to get cold here. I don't think making a fire is going to save us. All right, so there's two deer carcasses in this route. To, uh, to deal with. Alright. Let's get out of the cold. Alright, we got no choice. Why are the auroras always so windy? I don't think this will last. But at this point, we got to get to the trailers. We've lost enough health. To, it's going to take days to recover from. All right, so it's nice to know that there are some deer here we can harvest. But the lack of coal really kicked us in the butt. Utilize the coffee to our advantage. 
Ugh. That's why you gotta respect the weather. Just when you think you've got a decent, you know, chance at covering some ground, took advantage of the slightly warmer weather at the moment we left, and then turn around and get burned. And then my failure to recognize the fact that I did not have any coal is what's costing us here. And there, and then out the window, calm down. All right. Priority is to get in here and get warm. Come on, master, move. Wind is killing us. Ugh. We do not have the health to be giving that up. Yeah, I think we can use it by harvesting it. All right, at least we're warm inside. That's the beautiful thing. Our clothing is definitely working to our advantage there. What kind of a hit did we take? All right. 78. Ugh, frustrating. Yeah, we did get a few cattails going. All right, we are unburdened. <laughs> if I use the hammer, this will give us some wood at least. It's not the best wood choices, but hey, ru ruined granola bar. Did we not? Did we not? Oh, we have not searched this. Well. Let's take care of that problem. I forgot we kind of just ran into Mystery Lake and... This will come in handy. Oh, yes, it will, Astrid. We found food. We were kind of needing some food. I mean, we weren't in total dire straits, but we were kind of getting a little lean. Yeah, I, I keep wondering at what point do I start not worrying about... Well, I, you know, at some point you, you're going to run out of food. So it isn't going to matter. Alright, so let's... Let's see what's... Oh, we can't... Can we not eat that from... The, we can't eat that from there. We have to eat it from here. Can we eat it? Eat that sucker. All right, let's eat one of these because these are starting to get bad. Actually, you know what? Just let's just eat them. Not that it matters. Okay, so we've got six hundred. We got a thousand calories. That's good for the. That's good for tomorrow. All right, plenty of water. Thank goodness for making water. How long to break you down? Tell you what, let's break you down. We need the wood. Oh, cabin fever. No. Not cabin fever already. All right. Five hours before we can't sleep. Oh, that narcissist, that drone. <laughs> Okay. Unburdened. I can't see what I'm drinking here, Astrid. Alright. Can 
barely see the door. Let's repair these. Gives us an excuse to stay inside a little longer. How much did that help us? It goes from, eh. It ain't much, but we'll take it. What else are we doing? All right. Let's sleep for three more hours. Let's see if we can get to a little bit warmer part of the day. God, that was costly trying to get over here. I just wanted to collect cattails and get over here by the dam. I, I didn't even try to collect the deer, and we've got such a nice selection of deer carcasses to feed us, too. Yeah. Well, at least today's a little better day. All right, let's go grab this tea stuff. This is the other thing that we're missing. Let's go grab tea making supplies. Then we'll go warm up in the other trailer. And loot it. There we go. Ugh. Our worries are over. We can now mark our territory with the spray paint. That's pretty good. Now we'll know how to build the weapons to kill things that are no longer alive. This trailer had everything we needed. Alright. And I brought the hammer with me, which I wasn't anticipating, but nevertheless, it's coming in handy. Alright. At least I feel a little bit better. We've got some wood on us to make a fire. We got one stick. What do we got for? We got any? Let's harvest a bad torch here. Any more? Really? Sounds like the wind died down. I heard it pick up, and I didn't mention it, but. Just glad I made all that extra water. All right, let's see what outside brings us. Oh, what a beautiful day! Maybe we ought to go get that deer. We could make a uh, a maglin's fire. We could go over here and get this deer. Sometimes there's some tea stuff down here. We could make a few teas, cook up the deer, maybe not have a bad day, and then retreat back to the dam if things get ugly. Hmm? 
few acorns. Ooh. I wonder if we could set this up where we could be warm and I could get these limbs cut at the same time. If I kind of bridge the distance here. You know what? No. Oh, let's see how long this takes. Hopefully we won't get hyperthermia right away. No, the wind will pick up and ruin my fire, that's for sure. Because TLD is always watching. All right. It's too windy to sustain a fire, you absolute pain in my ass. Not even in the windbreak there. Are we in the windbreak here? Well, this isn't close. Ah. All right. We go with hypothermia risk again. At least the fire is warming us up. Good lord. All right. I think we'll be okay. The coffee's gonna be done. Our hypothermia is better. Eat these, that'll warm us up a little bit. Goodness gracious, that's frustrating. Okay, we got a little bit of time on this fire, so let's go ahead and make a little bit of water. I think we got enough for another Raishi. The wind doesn't shift. Still good on our fire. Oops. Okay. So frustrating. You know what? If it would calm down enough that I could go over there and cut up that deer, I'd do it. But it's I'm just not warming up fast enough. And it's done like that. Yeah, I know. We're going to grab a couple more sticks. We're going to see if we can't add some heat to this fire. 
without killing ourselves. I am not looking forward to the muskeg. Gonna have to definitely make sure we are sitting on a bunch of coal. In fact, when we come out of bleak, if we have any left from the cave, we're definitely gonna maybe leave us a little cash of it somewhere yeah we're just not well we'll keep making coffee until it runs out it's hard to make teas and stuff when you don't have them made maybe we can warm up just enough I'd like to be able to go grab that deer. I'm not so much worried about the hide so much. We've kind of built everything we need to build. We've got one. Um, cured one for repairs. If we could get another one going, that would be nice. But I'm not going to cry if we don't get every single one of them. All right, I think that's it for the tea. Let's pick that up. We are slowly warming up. I'm going to see if we can't get some more sticks here real quick. Maybe I could bring this fire back over here. Definitely need to get a hold of some coal. That is definitely going to be a thing. I don't want to lose too much of my body temp. Oh, some tea. That's as good. This is good. Let's get this. Let's go about this a little. Okay, we are heating up a little better. This isn't hurting our cabin fever either. So let's let's sacrifice the tea. Seeing how we've gotten some teas here. Let's go get this deer. And at least get its meat. And then maybe we'll attempt nine minutes. Let's see how we do. shifted a bit so we'll see if we get to cook this or not not that it's any big deal there we're out of the wind that's not what we want This is plus 14. Okay. Okay, wind has shifted again. I was going to see if I couldn't light that fire over there and collect. 
I was thinking I could get the deer and get these two limbs, and that would help us with our with our fire needs, but that ain't happening. We don't need feathers. So let's get back over to the dam. Well, at least we got one as a meal. There's still a lot of cattails down there we have not gotten. Maybe I should have done that while I was... Maybe I should have used that fire a little longer. Yeah, out of the wind, we're not in bad shape. I have no idea we can cut through here. Doesn't look like it. Let's get in here and see what we've got. in daylight which is our best part of the day for warmth it just seems like every time we turn around the weather goes against the warmer part of the day oh that's right we have fish over here I keep forgetting about that okay so we got a yeah we don't need the hides okay I completely forgot about the fact that we've got all these hides so I'm not worried about hides Maybe guts, but not hides. We got all this nonsense. And as silly as it may seem, I'm going to take all of this with this. Take it all. And we will store all this at Trapper's because then we won't have to come down all the way here just to get this stuff. We don't need that. Did we check that? We don't need that. We'll take this. Yeah, don't worry about it, Astrid. We're going to... How much to break this down? An hour. An hour and eight minutes. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. All right. What about the ladder? Can we break the ladder down? That, an hour? Really? Some of these time frames are really off. Oh, that stayed warm. Let's drink that. I have an idea. Let's go. How heavy are we? We're over by 10. I don't know that... Putting the stuff in the sled is going to make that much difference, but... I don't think we're going to deploy the sled until we get out here, because... I don't know if it'll fit through the gate. But let's try it. I haven't used the sled yet, so this will be a good little test. But I think what I'm going to do, just to be on the safe side, because I don't have time to waste, let's deploy it right here. Okay, so you can't deploy it from the... Deploy. All right. Now, how's our weight? Not perfect yet. What else can we throw in there? 
How about all this lamp oil? Don't throw your clothes in here. That won't do any good. There. Put your bedroll in there. And the hammer. There we go. Now you're light. Oh, this is a little bit faster. <laughs> the sound effect. Okay, the sled is very helpful on this. That, that did make a difference. Alright, let's... Probably a little less wear and tear on the snow than it is on that rail. Oh, I think this is going to help a lot. I think we just keep a uh, deer hide with this and keep this on us because that's helping a bunch. I would have probably left some stuff behind and had to make another trip, but this is sorry. Okay, I'm not unhappy with that at all. I'm more unhappy about the weather change in that we got caught without any fuel. That was completely idiotic on my part. We need to go get some coal. So I don't know if we duck back into ravine and see if there's any coal floating around over there. Or maybe we just work our way to trappers and loot that part of it and go... Grab some coal out of the cave, go into Mystery Lake, because... We won't be back that way for a little while and it will have had a chance to respawn. And we don't need to take it all. We could just take some. I mean, even if we grab like three or four, just the ability to throw in, you know, one coal and ten sticks makes a huge difference. Might have kept me from getting cold. Especially that first fire where... You didn't have any warm teas. Okay, so I'm digging the sled. The sled worked out really well for this. I'm glad we made it. Time well spent. Oh, there's another deer up here. I forgot about this one. Okay, so we got two over by the Hunter's Blind and Alan's Cave. We got the one down in the water, but we have one here. We don't need the hides. We maybe need to grab a couple of the guts, which would probably be helpful. I'm not sure which way to navigate this. Probably this way. Take the wide turn around the branches here. No space. Can we back up? Drop it. How do we drop it? I don't know how to drop it. Is it is it F is it three? I cannot back up. H for drop. There it is. Well, this was a failure on this part. I didn't know that we were going to have such a tight spot, but that's okay. Here, let's do this. We have one of these pies left. Let's eat the pie. That will give us some unburdened. We're kind of close. Let's do a little sprinting. Maybe we won't lose any more health. I don't want to have to make a fire just to get back, but it is what it is. Yeah, I see it, Astrid. I'm working on it. Cabin fever is still really bad.
Come on. We gotta get to a windbreak up here. I'll make a fire. Why are health loss in this episode has been epic. And it's all been because of cold. It's all about the cold. Alright. Is this a windbreak? Are we good here? Alright. We don't can't use that. Go, hundred percent, go. Thank God for the books. At least we know where there's more books in the little cave and the little cabins. So we'll carry more books. This is where we definitely could use some coal. Yeah, we are definitely. Here, give me this. Drink that real fast. Can't help but leave it behind. Definitely need to make more teas. <laughs> Come on, Astrid, we need to get home. If there's ever a lesson for Making sure we're not carrying too much is definitely this. This is a lesson about being ill prepared, if there ever was. Not having enough tea making material, not having the fire making materials we need, and being overloaded. All right, let's, let's sort all this out. We have plenty of that. We have one gut, so getting some more gut would be helpful. Do we have any more? T we don't. Okay. Oh. And we have cabin fever on top of that, so we probably won't even be able to stay here. We're definitely going to have to find us a warm spot. Okay. Alright, let's keep that. Oh, you know what? I saw a pry bar. Let's put that there. Here. Drop that for now. I'm working on it, Astrid. I'm working on it. Let's put all that in there and then give me that just as a backup. Put that away. Our hatchet's in pretty good shape, but I should sharpen that some more. We didn't pick up any extra clothing, right? Okay. Come on. Oh, it, is it? No. How come that? I was clicking on it and it wouldn't transfer. Game is acting very strange lately. And I've seen it in other people's content as well as my own. There's just little quirky things going on. And I don't know if it's because of what's coming or or what. I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Alright, so how, you know what, how bad is this? Cabin fever risk is awful. We need to be outside. And it's too cold to be outside.
I wonder if we could be in that cave up up the way there. We still have some we still have a tea burn in here. I wonder if we could get up there. I mean we're already we've already lost way so much health. We'd have to get up that that space and stay the night and stay warm, but we're gonna have cabin fever here and it isn't gonna make a difference. Yeah, I don't even think we could get up there that fast. Out of the wind, we're not bad. Not even any sticks. Let's try this. If the wind doesn't shift, or if it calms down. Yeah, our fire's only putting out eight. Feels like negative seven. We'd have to bring that fire up quite a bit. That's stuck in the house. Ugh. So frustrating. I was hoping we might be able to stay outside there. Just enough. That the cold wouldn't take us too. Too harshly. Tell you what, let's... About all the time we can have. The water will probably be boiled away. Nope. Well, we're still in the wind shelter. And we're only one down. How bad? Down to 71. So we're 24 points down. So we got some ground to make up. And I don't think this is going to be enough to do anything about cabin fever. Yeah, our cabin fever risk is just absolutely awful. <laughs> the perfect storm. Can we lay down here on the floor? Just for an hour. I know the fire's going to go out outside. My hope is that, that uh, the storm will give up. Okay, so we have cabin fever now. You've been indoors so long that you feel like the walls are closing in. You will be unable to sleep indoors for 24 hours. So. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Well? I guess we got no choice. Thank goodness for this cave up here. And of course the wind is fighting us every bit of the way. At least it was a wrist. I have a feeling we're going to get a few more. Oh, I'm so painful. Can't run. There's another sprain. I don't think I'm in the right spot. There we go. I'm half tempted to use a stim at this point. I'm really, really, really frustrated that I've made some grievous errors here. All right, at least we're out of the wind. The stem would give us a couple of things. It would fix some of our health issues. And we'd get up the hill a little faster. I think our cave is right here. be all right if we don't see our cave here in a second we're hitting the stem there's just no point in because I almost feel like we've gotten ourselves lost Yeah. All right. Here we go. Why we have them. I have no clue where I'm at at this point either. I figured that cave was not that hard to find. We've got to find some kind of a...
a road marker or something. All right, I see the power lines. Do another one. Okay, now, which way do we go? Clothes are going to take a beating. Alright, we're back where we started. <laughs> oh, lordy be. Oh, and now you're going to quit. You SOB storm all right there is safety right there but we need to sleep outside and now i might be able to see where i'm going how i got so flipping turned around just shows you the power of the blizzard and not being able to see all right Yeah, I know, Astrid. Well, it wasn't my intention to use two stims, but you know what? That's what they're there for. They're there to... They're there to use. So... Alright. Now I should be able to find that cave. Hopefully, we can get over there. And I know where there's more stims to come, so I'm not. That's why I'm not sweating it. In fact, I saw Zach find two or three in uh, the zone of contamination, and I know there'll be some in different parts of the maps. But um, I really not like to use a third one, if all possible. I think we can recover from this point. I think I'm up too high. I think that's what's killing me right now. I know, Astrid. I am a son of a gun. All right. This little valley here, and then up, and then to the left a little bit. Oh! Nothing like ending an episode on some excitement. Yeah, we're still going to be down on health, but I think we can recover that. I don't think that we would have survived without using the stim. And I think using the second one was also valid. Now we can get in here and hopefully get in the back of the cave and get a fire going. Warm up. Oh, where were you five minutes ago? All right, good. There's fire making material in here. I'm gonna get to the back of the cave and we warming up. That's beautiful. Power of our clothing. Yeah, I know, Astrid. We're in bad shape. Okay. Actually, you know what? If we don't have to make a fire, it's probably for the best. Lots of water. Making all that water is paying off. All right, let's sleep for an hour. All we need to do is stop the stop the damage. Ugh. And see, that's the other reason why I slept an hour. <laughs> then the funky sounds. Alright, well at least it looks like we're safe back here. We're still warm. It feels like plus 15. I think we're fine. So what we need to do is sleep all this stuff off. 
All right, so let's sleep for three hours. I think we'll be okay. I mean, it's nasty and it's early in the morning. Oh. Did that heal us up? Yay. Oh, what a day, Astrid. What a day. Okay, we're not we're neither cold nor warm. Where are we at? Feels like 13. We're good. We are warm. So. Okay, so we know we can stay up here. Maybe we leave. Well, no. We'll just carry it. I was going to say, maybe we leave a, uh, a bedroll up here. That way we don't have to carry one up here. Because we got three. We could always fix another one. And for right now. And we do need a couple things up here. There should be a deer up here we should be able to harvest. And we can make a fire and cook that. And then the other thing is I'd like to get the rope that's up here too. So, all right. So let's see how bad, bad got. We're at 72. We got down as low as 62. That's a lot to recover from. That would have taken a long time. 72 is not too bad. If we can keep our keep our meters good, which food shouldn't be too big an issue. There's a ton of deer around. We just we gotta stay warm. It's really what it comes down to. But our cabin fever risk is is really gonna be the hard one. So it looks like we're we're here. We're going to be staying staying up here in the cave for a little while. Which is fine. Alright, let's drink some more. How cold are we when we get to the other half of this? Three down. Nothing. Polaroid. Oh, another mag lens. More books. Don't know if we'll get into that cache or not, but... At least we are very warm back here. How bad is this? Okay, that didn't take too bad a beating. These did. Could have been worse. All right. Let's do three more hours. And I'll tell you what, we'll cause we'll call this a save point. That's enough drama for one episode. <laughs> okay. It's morning. So, what is today going to bring us? <laughs> I guess we'll find out next week. At any rate, <laughs> we're going to call that a save, and uh, we'll find out how next week. Uh, we'll find out next week how this new day goes. Hopefully, we'll be able to heal a little bit and regroup. We definitely need to find some coal. We definitely need to get better about our travels. We made some pretty heinous uh, and foolish mistakes traveling today but we've got our base established we need to get, rinse this cabin fever out of our hair and um move forward so here we go another step anyway thank you very much for watching we'll catch you on the next episode